Alrighty, hello, good morning. So, <clears throat> we did uh, get chicken dinner last yesterday at 5 p.m. my time. Uh, we do have a new event going on. I don't remember exactly what they're calling this event. Uh, let's see. I guess Delta. The Delta uh, Squad event. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, I'm going uh, kind of hard on upgrading all my. Uh, what are those things called? Oh boy. Uh, the uh, star I come. I. You know, it doesn't even matter. Well, I'm trying to get as high as I can for this event. Oh my god, wow, what is this look? <laughs> Which one is that? That's a random one? Oh my, we're gonna open those up for sure. Does it always just land there? Land there again, please? I'll take that. That's a free one star on any artifact. Well, not artifact, sorry. Uh, what do you call those things? <laughs> These, ah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't even matter. So yeah, that was a bit craziness, so <clears throat> let's talk about the Delta Squad skin event. So I already have Shadow Leaf because I grinded her out when she was essentially what Swordman skin is right now. We could get uh, get her skin fragments slowly by using her in every activity. I kind of figured that the event was going to happen today, so I did it, pre I did it early. So I was able to collect some of the fragments already. And uh, this is a new day, so I can collect them again. Now, out of these three at the first page, because those three pages, we'll talk about them. Arcane Tapu. He became such a great hero with his skin. Because his skin grants him the ability to deal extra damage based on the missing energy they have. And he's very good at stealing energy from enemies. Pair him up with, like, Vengeance Spirits, Monster Hunter, Inevitability Lady, Ninetale Fox, Sorceress. Any of those heroes can take out all of that energy and that can make him someone- Oh, and Rose Fencil, sorry. I always forget about Rose Fencil. Rose Fencil is amazing. I love him. Especially since I have his skin. Um, he can also receive less damage based on how many enemies are around him. So not only does he get a damage resistance based on how many are around him, he also deals increased damage with this skin. Plus he has a really good legendary skill that grants him a shield. And he does pretty good damage. He's very good at killing midline tanks. Oh, I mean, not midline tanks, sorry. Midliners. And then he's also a tank himself. Now, out of these three right here, I would go for Arcane Sapper more than anyone. Never Bitty Lady. She's kind of useful, but I don't think her skin does enough for her to warrant to get her. Because she's a perfectly fine hero without one. Because all her skin does is it grants her... Uh, the ability to reduce the target's armor or magic resistance and constantly reveal invisible units. So, Treasure Hunter can do that. He can figure out where all the invisible heroes are. But, like, there's not a lot of heroes in the game that can do that. What is that? There's Inferno Hunter. There is... No, Demon Abyss is not... Um, what? At Demon Assassin's not that. She just makes herself immune when she goes into avoid those. Hazel oh, Ninja for sure. With her skin, she grants all ninja allies when they have a certain threshold of energy. When they reach, like, what? I think it was, like, more than half. They would turn themselves invisible. There's not really a lot of heroes I can think of that turn invisible as much. But there's, there's, the, there's the concert cancellation. For the Astral Lobe, which grants them invisibility upon getting close to death, which I have a few on, on few of my heroes. That's the only times I really can see it viable if they put it on a very strong hero. But I still would say I would rather have Treasure Hunter on the back to grant the uh, large area effect that he does with his second skill? No, it's his third skill. It also grants haste for all the allies when he does it, so... He has better utility in that regard. She's just a better support than he is. So, I mean, I guess you could justify it. But I don't see her as worth picking up this time around. Shadow Leaf. She's a really good hero. She grants a damage bonus for all allies. If allies are the have the heroine tag. So, for example, Commander, Gladiator, 
Well, I call her Valkyrie because that's the name she has. Scarlet Sickle, Hazel Ninja, Shadow Leaf herself, Miracle Feather, uh, Troll Princess. There's like some really good ones out there. Uh, Flywheel Heron. I think Doomblade has that tag as well. I don't know. I don't see a lot of people with Doomblade. I see a lot more people with Scarlet Sickle, but she grants, with her legendary skill, she grants them increased armor penetration. So that's really nice to have. Oh, Commando as well. But her skin allows her to summon a clone anytime she damages enemies. And with her ultimate, she can usually, like, at most I've seen, I've seen like five clones at once on the field. But it's nice to have them because she can't really die when they're out on the field. They're protector for one instance of damage. Well, yeah, about, because a lot of midliners can take care of those clones really fast. When she first came out with her skin and they awakened her, she was just so unstoppable. Everyone got at her 20 so fast. But she's kind of fallen off. I would say I would only justify her if you're going to get a legendary to get this skin. Because I don't know if they're going to bring it back so you can collect it like that. But like, she's like a mid-tier pick, I would say. The one out of this lineup right here, definitely Arcane Sapo if you want someone to get back in the dirty line. Just absolutely massacre the midline for you. Now this, oh, this is tough. These ones are very tough for me because all three of them are amazing heroes. Now I don't see Jungle Boy used as much anymore. Jungle Boy allow, sorry, the Gladiator skin for Jungle Boy allows him to increase the ma damage that enemies receive con continuously. So whenever he hits anyone with his uh, effects, I think, yes. Anytime he hits them with any of his effects, it makes it so they take more damage. So the he can deal even more damage, everyone on the team can deal more physical damage. So I could justify this as being a good skin because he's a pretty good hero. Because he has the ability to make people unable to heal. He has a lot of stun effects. He has a an okay ultimate. His ultimate transforms him into a giant. With his skin, it makes it so he's riding on top of a giant. The Cyclops, as you can see. Now, this is totally biased, biased at all, oh, sorry, not biased at all, because the gentleman right here, how about Master, one of my favorite heroes, when he first came out, I went after him so fast, as soon as I could get him, and I still want to buy his skin, I might buy his skin right now, but his uh, gladiator skin grants him the ability to uh, dispel most of uh, Target's out bonus buffs. And reduce their target's armor by a significant portion, percentage, sorry. So, he's a very good hero because he can steal a lot of, ah, take away a lot of armor there when he charges into enemies. Which I think I have some replays I can show in a second. And then whenever he does this swipe effect, which launches enemies away from him, back into the back line or even towards you, your back line. He will make it so they cannot heal with this skin. Which is also very nice to have. So it makes him a lot better of a midline killer. He can stop those heal spam teams very easily. Martial Art Master, I don't think he really needs his skin. But it makes it so his basic attack deals repeated damage. Meaning so he can continuously hit the enemies. With his Hadouken ability essentially. I know because it's, it's literally called a Street Fighter skin. But uh, I don't think he needs his skin. It definitely increases his damage output. If it made it so he would uh, take with less damage as well for how many hits he gets, it would be a lot better. But it just makes it so amount of hit, amount of times he's been hit increases how many times he can do that repeated damage with his basic attack and how much it does. So now the last three skins right here. We got Sniper, Warrior Monk, Machinist. Those three are not amazing heroes. I know a lot of people have Sniper right here. Because they got him for free when he was able to be collected. So, Sniper is Delta Skin. It allows the Sniper to gain the Disguise State. Under this Disguise State, he's invisible essentially. He takes less damage. And his shooting range is increased. Meaning he can shoot from the very back of the uh, arena all the way to the other end. I don't really know why they decided to do that. But it's fine. Is he has four special bullets that can shrink in his other skills. 
The ultimate skill can cause double damage, which is just craziness, because he deals a lot of damage awakened. And that can cause double damage. That's just crazy. His second skill has a knockback effect. His third skill can cause armor damage, meaning he's uh, reducing the armor of the targets hit by that. And then, um, so his basic attacks can deal extra damage based on the enemy's maximum HP. That sounds really good, because it kind of is. I mean, if you want someone to go out of their way to, well, as he is a sniper, to take out a hero very fast, he tends to get a super really quick. Super ultimate, sorry. Or whatever it is. So he tends to be a good choice. Now, Warrior Monk. I would say he's a good choice because he has an absolutely amazing legendary skill because his legendary skill grants him. Uh, what is it? Immunity to damage for three seconds, I think. Whenever he takes a certain amount of uh, P, I think it was. So we'll go check right now. But I almost have a skin, so I'm just going to craft it. I'm not even going to worry about buying this. I think the only one I would buy out of these three right here would be Sniper, Harbour Master for this one, and Arcane Sapper. Good sorry. As I was saying, this skin allows him to deal extra damage based on how many... Um... Wait, no. Oh yeah, no, no. He does deal extra damage based on how many enemies he hits with his skills. And apparently it can also increase his stunning effect, which is amazing. And every time he misses his attack, it increases the timing of launching the second skill. So it means you can start spamming that stun effect. I think it's called Quake he does. Now Machinist. I don't really view Machinist worth even building anymore because like when they had the, what was it? Time trials, yeah. And when they had time trials where you had to do it with a tech team, that was the only time he was viable, really, because he could do all of that very fast, and he bumped up all allies with the tech uh, symbol with him, with his legendary skill. But this one grants him a, a second in life, essentially, because he every time he receives lethal damage, there's a possibility he goes up. I'm pretty sure there's a cooldown on that, right? He flies up and he takes no damage while he continues attacking. And then after a little bit, he drops down. His ultimate gives him a shield with this skin, and it makes it so whenever he does damage with the ultimate, it continuously charges the shield, so he'll keep that shield on as long as he's popping his ultimate off. And the second skill can bounce between enemies, and the third skill can fire off multiple missiles. I mean, it's an okay skin. It's not anything crazy. If you really want to build a machinist, then yeah, I would recommend getting it. But since they don't have the tech trial anymore, I don't think it's worth it. But we also have chicken dinner back, as I said. I played a little bit of it last night. It seems to be glitched right now. It's not working really properly, but it's fine. I mean, I'll probably go sit down tomorrow, save the day off, and just go crazy on it and get it done. On the chicken card this time around, we have Terror Gluttony. He's an okay hero. I mean, he can help take out like really annoying tanks. For example, Hammer Judgment, uh, Thunder Tiger out of the battle, enough that you can wipe out the rest of the heroes. I use him paired with my Tail, uh, sorry, Tail Gluttony paired with my own help with his skin, so I take out the rest of his backline. And then when Tail Gluttony spits out Iron oh sorry, spits out the troublesome hero, Iron will hit him with the ultimate, and then prevents him from using his ultimate. So Thunder Tiger, for example, can't pop off his Frenzied State, which deals a ridiculous amount of damage. And same with uh, Hammer Judgment. Now, I am tempted to get the bottom one if I actually fill out the entire chicken card because of the fact that it grants him a bunch of crystals. What does that do? Does that only get him level 5? Oh, that only gets him level 5, huh? No, I think it gets him a little higher, right? Because those are uh, medium crystals. Those are Solstons, those are Juniors, those are Mediums. Yeah, because he only has... They don't grant him a lot of Senior Crystals. Oh no, they don't even grant any Senior Crystals, do they? No, they do not. Wow. 
if they did it would be worth it because to get him a little higher would make him definitely better but for a purchase event we have going on sorry yeah this one i wanted to show first we have this icon i've seen it a few times if you want to purchase like the dollar packs that they have and like ration out your gems by buying the gem packs like the weekly one and the daily one then that's how you could get this faster because you buy it day one day two then day three so if you want to buy it slowly i'm probably gonna go a little bit crazy because i definitely want to pick up like it's tough for me because i love howlboard master i have him level eight awakened and i want him to be able to solo an entire team by himself like he used to be able to but oh sorry let's talk about the other features i completely forgot about this let's go to update journal they have new events active they have season a new season of chicken dinner they added artifacts to arcane sapper mishu archer demon chief vengeance spirits and god of light which are all crazy good heroes out of the out of all of them there that seem like they're gonna be the craziest i would say demon chief and vengeance because they're tied because they have the same artifact effect because they deal a lot of damage with the area effects that they have so it's gonna be interesting to see how it is but vengeance spirits is probably gonna make the most difference for sure and they awakened furious overseer musketeer musketeer has a pretty good skin actually puppet master and a werewolf i think out of the two out of the weakest out of here are definitely werewolf and overseer then i would say go musketeer and the best one i'm hoping is the best one is puppet master because there's so many good tanks out there right now that werewolf and overseer are gonna definitely be overshadowed musketeer if you have a skin she's probably gonna be actually really good she does get the benefit of um, Shadow Leaf's legendary skill, so that would also be nice to pair up with. But Puppet Master used to be so good. Like, he has the Scorpion that he sends out that goes to the back line and stabs an enemy here in the back. It does a lot of damage. Well, it used to do a lot of damage, so I can only imagine it being awakened. And what was the new polychromes? They added Commando, Crown Slayer, Doom Blade, Death Knight, Rose, and Rose Fencer. I'm a little surprised on Death Knight. Looks like kind of thought he just fell off. But let's go check out those. Because the ones I have. So we have Puppet Master, which I'm slowly going to awaken for sure. I'm going to make a video on him alone when he gets to level 3 awakened. It might be a while before I do that though. We have Arcane Chapel. His artifacts grants him immunity for 3 seconds after he receives 20% of his max HP. He would definitely be able to heal it. Oh, wait. Sorry. I remember now. He grants himself a shield with his fourth skill. What his legendary skill does, it makes it so he can re resist lethal damage, meaning he can't die as long as he has energy. Which makes him really good at killing midliners. Because he steals energy from them. Vengeance Spirit's artifact. This is what seems like crazy to me. Because she has split damage to begin with, so she hits every target on the field. Her well, skin makes it even better. And this makes it so anytime she has deals damage, she has a 70% chance to deal an extra damage based on the 70 0.75% of the max HP. It's not it doesn't sound like anything crazy, but any extra damage is a lot. Now if you were to upgrade this higher and higher, it's gonna do a ridiculous amount for sure. Because she not only has the split arrow, because when you have it here, we'll go right here so I can show you. She has Petrification, which deals a lot of extra damage. Now this one, it deals 113% of the original attack damage, so meaning it does even more damage than what it started off at, because at the base level, it doesn't deal a lot. She steals energy, which is always really nice, and then she increases her own HP. Now her legendary skill increases her armor penetration, and attack speed whenever she pops it so that makes it so nice to have i think i'm when this legendary skin comes out i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna upgrade her to at least level five i think i mean i'm slowly buying her crystals but i might just rush her and then her skin allows it so she gains a shield and energy anytime she acts it activates a skill and the second skill would definitely hit five enemies no matter how many enemies in the field meaning she's hitting them five times each time with this uh split arrow so it's gonna be really nice now who else 
We have Spell Swordsman. Spell Swordsman got the artifact as well. Where's my Rose Pencil? I think I passed him, right? No, he's... No, he's up there. Yeah, he is up there. There he is. Let's see what he is. Uh, Polychrome looks like. Oh, nothing crazy. I'm definitely going to go for maximum HP because I want him to be able to survive. Because he is kind of fail. Now we're going to do with a 5 for the daily. But Demon Chief. Oh, I'm so excited to see how Demon Chief is going to play out. Because Demon Chief steals armor and then adds it to himself with his second skill. Wait, no, sorry. Wait, no, that's... Sorry, his fourth skill does that. Anytime he attacks enemies, he can steal the armor and add it to himself. Because his le uh, his sorry yeah his first skill oh my god I'm hi I just got off work I apologize but it turns him into a demon form so it grants him extra max HP and then he also gets increased accuracy and then all of his normal attacks become area effects so they hit everyone on the field then it also launches this attack at the same time meaning he also can reduce the target's armor. And then he has Demon Realm, so if he throws that on the ground where all they're at, he's doing extra damage to everyone. And he also makes it so uh, he resists control effects, so he doesn't actually get hit by frozen effects from like Ice Mage when he has an enemy inside the Demon Realm. And yeah, his, le his artifact grants him the wonderful effect that Vengeance Spirit gets on her artifact, so he's going to be really good. I'm pretty sure Spell Swordsman got the same treatment. Right, where is he? I think I passed him. No, I did not. He's right here. So he grants him the same effect. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Already got it. So whenever he pops his ultimate skill, Pops his ult off, he's gonna get, he's gonna turn into the sword itself. Now, we can look at this Grand Arena effect, and then we'll be done for the day, so I'm just kind of mumbling on. Oh, he didn't even get to my final team. Huh. Now, that first team I have is a really long... Crazy lockdown team, hopefully. We'll watch this. But yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna pick up a cane sapo skin from this. It seems like also the Howbird skin, ma ah, martial artist, and what was the other one though? I forgot already. Oh my. But those skins say they're 50% off, but they're the same price as the ones that are 40% off, which I am pretty sure is a glitch. I don't think they care enough to fix it at this current moment. So when they if they do drop it to 50 bucks, I'll buy it. Or I could just slowly wait for me to build up the fragments for Hellbird Master again. Yeah, this team did a lot. It just kept stunning them in place, freezing them with Ice Mage, stopping them from popping magic skills with a stun of sorry silence effect of Time Soldier. Yeah. I had Depth's voice in there to push back a tank at the beginning of the battle. Because also she gets the bonus of my mermaid totem. So yeah. And she has a really good legendary skill as I said before. And then this team. Kind of self-explanatory. It's my best team. It's a magic rush team. Because you have Ironhoof there being as the main tank. Popping a shield, protecting everyone from a little bit of damage as soon as they come into battle. We have the wonderful skin of Psychopath that grants everyone uh, resistance to control effects whenever they are hit by the haste effect right there as soon as they came into battle. And it makes it so they have the chance to pop their magic skills twice in a row. Wow, Psychopath just dies almost instantly. <laughs> Okay, we have Nature Storm in there to cause trouble by freezing everybody. 
putting eye shackles so they can't move up to the front. This is actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. Wow. Yeah, it's always brought down to my Embusto and Iron Huff usually in this team. There's a lot of people get in there and then what am I in the back line? Watch right here as Iron Huff strips him of his ultimate and deal a lot of damage and then Ember Star's gonna finish him right here. Yep. What was his artifact level on him? 47? No, that's 43. Yeah, 43. So that's why he survived so long. But yeah, that should be everything for the video. We're just talking a little bit about this wonderful, wonderful uh, Delta skin event because it's nice to have these skins available again because they're amazing. Jungle Boy side, that was the last skin I was talking about. But these skins should be cheaper, but they're not, so it does suck. Alright, everyone have a wonderful day and I'll make videos at some point again.